What is the National Guard? Is it the military? What do guardsmen do? One week in a month, two weeks during the year? What does that mean? Today, I'm going to explain the National Guard so you can be informed, able to know what is going on when you see us, and if you want to be part of our honorable organization. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Team Will Bob. I'm Staff Sergeant Robert Williams, a recruiter for the Washington Army National Guard. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you can get my videos in the future. The National Guard is what is called a reserve component of the Army. And that's where you get the one week in a month, two weeks during the summer. We're technically a part-time force. But that means that, yes, we are absolutely part of the Army. In fact, we are the oldest part of the Army. We are able to do literally almost everything that the active duty does with the notable exception of teaching basic training, oddly enough. Anything that happens overseas, we can do. We're also able to do more things in America than active duty or the reserves. We go to the same basic training, the same individual job training as the active duty and the reserves, but the difference is you come back here and you go back to your normal life until you are called upon for things like floods, wildfires, anything that overwhelms first responders. We train one week in a month and around two weeks during the summer. Now, that one weekend might be a Saturday and a Sunday. It might be Thursday to Sunday or something in between. And that two weeks sometimes is up to three weeks. Depending on your unit, where you are in your training cycle about being deployed, and what else you're going to be doing that year. Our main purpose is to serve inside the U.S. by helping when there are disasters and emergencies that overwhelm other agencies. This can mean large-scale events such as wildfires or floods, or smaller-scale incidents like decontaminating a drug cook site out in the middle of nowhere. Our capabilities are significant and varied and specialized. Police and fire departments do not need to rescue people from floods very often, so they do not maintain the larger vehicles that we do. Also, not all municipalities can afford the equipment necessary to deal with large-scale decontamination, such as from a meth lab. To do all of this, we are under the command of the governor. Legally, only the National Guard can do these things, except in extreme conditions and after we have been fully exhausted. Our secondary purpose is to conduct federal missions. This generally means that we go overseas for deployment, which can mean many different things, though sometimes we are stationed in the U.S., like on Army or even Air Force bases. Now, there is also the Air National Guard, and they participate in monitoring the airspace all around the U.S., as well as having aircraft ready to protect against air incursions. President Bush number two actually was on this mission. One question I regularly get is how often we deploy. The National Guard generally operates in a five-year deployment cycle. That means you spend four years training up and one year one is your turn. And that means that if there is a mission that is specific to your type of unit, you might get called. You might not. Some units have a three year cycle and they take smaller parts of the unit. So not everyone is deployed that often. I've been in for over 12 years and I've actually never gone overseas. It is possible to volunteer for deployment if that's what you want to do. We also have several different missions where we go overseas for only a couple weeks at a time to do things like build schools. Also, during those four years, your unit goes through training for a possible upcoming deployment if it's known what you might be doing. Other years that are in that time are spent being like the first one called for disasters such as wildfires and floods, again, or everybody if the Lahar hits from Mount Rainier. What are some examples of specific things that we do inside the US? Obviously, we support and assist wildland firefighters. We rescue people from floods. We coordinate emergency efforts with other organizations and with the state itself. We fight international drug trafficking organizations. This includes all aspects of their organizations. So we have personnel who actually fight human trafficking. Search and rescue either on a mountain because our helicopters go higher than others, or natural disasters like a mudslide which devastates an entire town. 
Sometimes those army missions inside the U.S. include being security at military or civilian airports or completing engineering projects for the Army Corps of Engineers. This month, the 176 engineers actually built a park. Like I said before, there are other missions where we have full-time National Guard personnel protecting our country, things like air defense. We also protect the rights of peaceful protesters, communities and businesses, and everyone else around when there are disturbances like riots. One of the really cool details we can be on is providing protection for large events such as presidential inaugurations, the Super Bowl, the Olympics, or other massive events like that. We assist law enforcement when they need specific test equipment for potential decontamination locations. We also decontaminate people who have been the victims of chemical, biological spills or attacks. My first infantry unit in this state was actually tasked with being the first people into a contaminated zone wearing those spacesuits to do early reconnaissance and to search for survivors. Also, the most common federal activation of the National Guard in the 20th century? Enforcing integration for schools after Brown v. Board. That's right. We take protecting your constitutional rights seriously. Now some examples for things we do outside of the U.S. We train the militaries of other nations. We show strength by simply existing in certain areas, like Poland. We build schools. We clearly fight wars. And according to the Army, out of the three components, the active duty, reserve, National Guard, we perform the best overseas. We help rebuild countries, whether or not we are actually part of a conflict. And we work with local leaders to help fight terrorism and warlords or whatever else is plaguing them. The National Guard is a go-to service when there is an emergency. We protect our local communities against so many different things, and we travel the world to protect others. When are you going to be part of that? Thank you for watching Team Will Bob explaining the National Guard. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already so you can get my next video. If you have any questions, please give me a call, a text, an Instagram or Facebook or WhatsApp message. See you next time.